Tournament time is where legacies can be made. Whether it's a march to Columbus for a state championship or even a sectional title, these are the wins that get remembered. That probably doesn't hold true for any school more than it does for Bradford. At Bradford, the story is in the banners. There are none. Not for boys basketball, not for the girls program. That is, until this year, when the girls won the program's first sectional championship. It's amazing. It, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's crazy. Right now, we're just kind of on a, we're on cloud nine right now, seeing where the season can take us. In the game that extended the record to 20 wins in a season and earned the sectional title, the Railroaders needed four overtimes to get the job done. We never done anything like this before. We want it to happen, so you constantly have to pick up your team and keep going. So looking back on it, I wouldn't have expected anything differently. We beat Covington, which is our rival with the first time in I don't know how many years on a last second shot, and we won the our, our own holiday tournament for the second year in a row on a last second shot. And It's just been kind of one of those years where you don't expect what happens, but it, for some reason it just happens. That reason is work. This offseason was like none other for the Bradford girls, and now they're reaping the rewards. When we came in the summer and we started practicing, it was a completely different season than it has ever been. The excitement wasn't here. Um, we finally got some girls excited about the sport right now, and we finally got some girls doing some really good things, and they're putting in the time. Like I said, I just it just goes back to hard work. It's time to make room for the first basketball banner in Bradford's gym. And on Saturday, the Railroaders will look to shock even more people by attempting to upset Fort Loramie, the ninth-ranked team in Division 4.